welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and today i am here with an unboxing of a really pretty diamond dots kit that is going to be very fitting for the year of the dragon in particular the title of this piece is dragon princess which you can see up there and here's a look at the original artwork the whole thing this is a partial, which means that there is part of the diamond painting that is not going to have any diamonds on it. I think it's going to be mostly the background is going to have um, no diamonds on it. Uh, but the overall design size is going to be, it says 85 by 67 centimeters, and the fabric size is 93 by 75 centimeters. So it's pretty big, but I'm hoping that, you know, once we open it up and look at it, that maybe the actual diamond painted part of it isn't gonna feel too overwhelming. So again, this is from Diamond Dots and Diamond Dots is, I thought that was something on the box. No, it's the, um, that's uh, part of the branding. <laughs> uh, diamond Dots has been around for a while and they just make a pretty, oh, there it is. There's the diamond area. Uh, they just make a pretty solid quality product products and all of their kits are licensed either directly from an artist or from um, a stock website or similar, which I am all about licensed artwork, of course. There is some info on in the back about how to diamond paint, and you'll also find a beginner video that I have done that'll be linked below in the description box if you are new to diamond painting and want to see some tips. Here are the kit contents, so it's going to have the fabric, um, this kind of a toolkit, and then the diamonds and some instructions. So um, I got this, I believe I ordered this from Amazon. You can also get a lot of these kits directly through the Diamond Dots website. And there are any number of retailers that also carry the Diamond Dots brand. I've seen Diamond Dots, uh, I live in the States, I've seen Diamond Dots kits in uh, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, those kinds of shops. And I feel like Diamond Dots is also the parent company for some of these uh, store brands. Like I think that um, maybe Camelot Dots or Leisure Arts, uh, some of these kinds of uh, brands, I do think that maybe they have a, the same parent company as Diamond Dots. Um, and so the quality is, it is, it's solid, you guys. Okay, so it does have the, the canvas wrapped up by itself. And then um, looks like the toolkit and the diamonds are in here. Yeah, and so it says Dragon Princess there. Um, let me show you well let's you know let's open the canvas first we'll start with that I'm trying to look and see it doesn't it almost looks like this has been open before but i don't maybe maybe not um it was through i think like the diamond dots uh amazon storefront so i'm hoping that i didn't get something that was used let's take a look here Ooh, that is big <laughs> But it, it looks so cool already. Diamond Dots has this, it's like a hundred percent polyester canvas. Um, what oh, that is, and it is not wanting to lay flat. I'm gonna help it lay flat though. Um, but okay, all right, this is the instruction sheet. Uh, here's what you can do, by the way if you have a diamond painting canvas that is wanting to really stay rolled in on itself like this and not really lay flat, um, what I like to do is flip it the, uh, and we're going to roll it the opposite direction and that should really help quite a bit like i said uh, diamond dots canvases are this i'm pretty sure it's 100 percent polyester and you can kind of hear it um and it just <laughs> it is a stubborn fabric in a lot of ways so let's see if that if that helped a bit okay much 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 better except right here because it was kind of like curved in the opposite direction dang um, the good news is I'm looking at it and it does appear to be, you know, in perfect condition, um, aside from, I mean, even the canvas, I wouldn't say that means it's not in perfect condition. It's just kind of a pain. Um, but you can see you guys, how the background, there's going to be no diamonds in a lot of this area, but you know, in her hair, the dragon, in her clothes, that's where you're going to find where the diamonds are going to be. So this is, like I said, this is what they call a partial drill diamond painting as opposed to a full drill diamond painting, which would have diamonds covering the whole design. Um, but, you know, that makes the this size on this one feel a little bit less intimidating. <laughs> uh, let me show you this instruction sheet, which it comes with, my goodness, multiple languages <laughs> um, and pictures too. 
Uh, so here is um, an explanation of how to diamond paint. Honestly, I'm more of a visual learner. I'm the kind of person that I'm gonna wanna look at like a video. So again, I will have a um, beginner video linked below. There are some tips in here written out too. Um, interesting, wrap the head of your diamond dot stylus in plastic when not in use to prevent from drying out. I've literally never done that with a diamond painting pen. It ch I just change the wax if it gets dirty and I've never had it like dry out, dry out. Um, care instructions and then kit contents here. Yeah, 100% polyester. Um, yeah, Needle Art World I think is kind of the parent company of diamond dots. Like Needle Art World uh, sells a variety of crafting crafting goods. So here's the pictures, by the way, kind of go, go along with the written out instructions. So anyway, that is your large instruction pamphlet, but you know what? I, I'm a fan of accessibility. That way, if English is not your first language and you speak any one of those languages, then you can, you know, have a better sense for how to do your diamond painting. Um, let me kind of show you some of the different features on the canvas. Um, so there is this diamond dots branding at the top and it does have these scalloped edges. I'm seeing, well, no, that's totally fine, actually. Um, I was like, is it fraying? <laughs> not really, it's just little bits where it was cut. Uh, you shouldn't have fraying with this kind of edges. Um, you know, that's that's the idea. And then we do have this 100% polyester backing. There's this clear plastic cover and obviously it's going over a lot that doesn't actually have diamonds. But if you get to a part that has blue, let me peel it back. Um, you can kind of peel it back from the symbols and glue here and it is, that's where it's sticky. You can see the shine there too. And it is pretty sticky. I have not had issues with the diamond dots kits that I've worked on. I've not had issues with the, the glue. It's been, you know, totally fine. I've completed a few diamond dots kits at this point. Um, and their glue was, you know, holds drills well. Uh, here's the title, Dragon Princess, and kind of their model number. Here's the design size. Okay, so this is from Tate and Company Licensing. They did put the actual individual artist's name on the listing for this as well. I'm just blanking on the name of it. It's, I think it was a German name. I think it was Renee. Um, I think that it started with a B. I'll have it in the description below. But they didn't, they did go ahead and credit the artist directly as well on the listing. There's the sizes again. And you guys, we also have these legends or these color lists at the bottom right and over here at the top left. It looks like they did not include a separate paper or sticker legend. Um, that is consistent with my experiences with diamond dots. What I am probably gonna do is just either like makeshift draw the symbols for myself on little label stickers <laughs> Or I may make a copy of this and print it out. And I have a, a sticker maker that is quite inexpensive from Amazon, the Xyron X150. If they still make it, I'll have it linked below. Um, it's It was like $10 US. And uh, you can just take any piece of paper and kind of feed it through and it's it turns into sticker paper. And so I might use that for labels. Uh, one thing to note is that um, with their their color code system, Diamond Dots has its own color code system where 95% of diamond painting companies out there are going to use the DMC color code system. Diamond Dots has its own system. There are conversion charts out there. There might even be one on the Diamond Dots website. Uh, so if you save your leftover diamonds and you want to be able to kind of sort these by DMC code, uh, that is, you know, you want to look at that conversion chart. We are going to have some special drills, it looks like, down here. Um, in this kind of separate section, I did see what looked like some special shapes on here, uh, specifically in that flower in her headpiece, you guys. You can see we've got um, like these, and then the number two, and then I think the number three and the number four. So it's in her earring and her headpiece. We're gonna have some special drills that'll be different sizes and shapes than regular diamonds will. Um, we'll take a look at the diamonds together in just a bit and see. I am noticing, uh, having unrolled this, that there is this big black mark up here at the top. I am wondering if I got, I don't know, maybe a used canvas, but everything else looks okay. I don't display my canvases um, completed. That's that's not why I work on diamond paintings. I just really, really enjoy uh, the process and find it relaxing. But that is kind of a bummer. I I don't know. I'm gonna have to go go back and look and see like what Amazon storefront I I bought this from just to kind of see. Okay, what what was going on here? Did I not order from 
the Diamond Dots Amazon storefront. Maybe I'll leave like a review and just be like, hey, FYI, this didn't come in like uh, the kind of perfect condition I'm used to, or at least, I don't know, close to perfect condition I'm used to from uh, Diamond Dots. So I'm gonna measure and see where we're at. Um, so it said the design size was 85 by 67. So I'm gonna measure just the design here. Okay, so we're 84 and a half. And then this way we are at uh, 66 and a half. We're listed as 85 by 67. I'm calling that true to size. Um, I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room. Not an issue for me personally. Let's open this up and we'll take a look at the toolkit and the diamonds and see what we think of those. At least this looks like it's all sealed as normal. Okay, so the toolkit is basic, but absolutely you can use use this to do your, your diamond painting here. We've got some baggies. You could store your leftover diamonds in, but there's not a lot of them. Um, so I recommend using maybe a storage container of some sort. We have a pen and a squishy you can slide on there. And we have some pink wax, a little branded caddy here. There is a thin plastic film. Oh, there's two plates of it in there. There's a thin plastic film on here. You wanna make sure you peel back before you try to load your pen, just so you know. And then we also do have a tray. So it's a little tray, but you know, can totally do the job. A project of this size though, I would probably gently recommend some tool upgrades, maybe a bigger tray, maybe a slightly more comfortable pen, maybe a multi-placer, uh, just to make working on a project like this feel a little bit more comfortable and enjoyable maybe. So um, I, yeah, that will just maybe be my suggestion. And then as far as the diamonds go, let's take a look here. Here's our little color spread, lots of blues and teals and some browns. And then the strands themselves, you will find um, that it just has the, it's the number in the right hand column, you guys. So like A20 and this is A20. Um, oh, there is a color code, the, the Diamond Dots color code, the 8433 also is on there. Okay. Um, and I do put these in order um, in the strands like of the color list. So, uh, if that makes it easier for you kidding up wise, there's the diamond dots branding up here. Big bag of that blue color. Yeah, lots of shades of blue. And then here we do have some crystal colors. I think that these were, these are in addition to the special shaped drills actually. Uh, so yeah, these are both crystals. This one's more like goldish. This is more of a pale yellow. Uh, the mirror backing on those helps cover up the symbol that these are going to be placed on because the crystal part is, you know, kind of transparent. Uh, and it also helps that crystal effect really come through really nicely. It kind of gives it that reflective quality. So those are really pretty. We'll try to take a look and I'll point out where those colors are going to go. A11 and A12. Yeah, we'll look at those. But first, let's get through the rest of these colors in case there are any other special diamond colors or types couple bags of some of these browns and taupes. Um, I'm curious to see if these diamonds end up having a lot of static. In the past, my Diamond Dots kits have had quite a lot of static and I I just, I come prepared with dryer sheets galore. I'll cut up a dryer sheet. Oh, we do have some more special drills, you guys. Um, I'll cut up a dryer sheet into squares. And what I'll probably do is if these have static, I'll, you know, cut it open. I'll tuck a little square dryer sheet in there and kind of shake it around. And that should hopefully take care of, you know, major, major static issues. But anyway, we have two other uh, special drill colors here, you guys. These look like they're AB diamonds. And they have this really sparkly iridescent coating on the top. Um, they're named after the Northern Lights. Aurora Borealis is, is AB. And they have, yeah, just a beautiful iridescent coating. It's really, really um, gonna stand out from the other the regular diamonds and highlight the areas it has been charted. So we've got two of these AB colors. And like I said, we will take a look together at the canvas and find where those are at. Uh, some teals and some blues. And then here is a strand of our special shaped drills. Well, we have one bag of regular here. <laughs> then we have these uh, kind of teardrop ones. And then we have these kind of oversized round crystals, kind of a topaz gold. And then we have little aqua oversized crystals and little aqua kind of teardrops too. 
So um, easiest ones to point out where they go, these special drills. So kind of that goldish topaz one um, is the yellow flower in her earring, I believe, A29, yep. And then um, let's see the number two, A30, the gold color. That is going to be the circles that are in between each of those flower petals. And then number three was the kind of aqua round crystal is going to be in her earring. And then the one teardrop, uh, aqua teardrop, is going to be here at the bottom of her earring. So that's where those special shaped drills are going to go. I do not, I do not see them anywhere else. So as far as the two crystal colors and the two ABs go, let's see about finding those. Um, so we have the kind of more pale yellow crystal and the uh, more gold crystal. Both of those crystal colors are actually in the collar of her robe. I don't want to get the name wrong for this particular uh, clothing, so I don't want, I'm just, that's how I'll refer to it. Um, and then here on this hem of her sleeve, there's both of those colors. They're actually right next to each other all along here. And those are the only places I see those crystal colors. Now, as far as the ABs go, we have that nice pale aqua AB, and then we have the white AB. And it looks like, okay, nine and 10, uh, these two symbols here. So I see the white AB is in part of the, um, in part of the dragon. There's some white ABs here and in here. And little parts of the, yeah, of the dragon's head and scales. There's a little bit here around its, this is kind of its snout and some on its yeah, nose and snout as well. And then I see some of the pale aqua AB uh, down right here. And then I also see it in parts of uh, this like lighter blue in some of these areas of its head. Uh, there's more of the pale aqua AB in here and um, a little bit down here as well. And then sprinkled throughout her robe is both a are both ab colors actually um it's really just sprinkled all throughout let me see if i show you what the original artwork looks like um basically all of the white in her sleeves is going to be the white ab color including up here looks like that's going to be the ab color and then if you look there's kind of a lighter blue in the midst of all this aqua that kind of lighter blue color and it's down here too that is going to be the um, that light blue or light aqua AB color. So I feel like that's actually the easier way to show you where those special drills are going to be. These are going to be ABs, which is right here. And uh, let's take a look down here at the bottom of her robes. We have that light blue AB in these patterns to give it a little bit of extra sparkle and help it stand out. Um, and I see some of it right here in this spot on her clothes. Oh, and actually this right here, this line, um, that is all the light blue or aqua AB. There's some of it here and it also is the top outline right here. That was a pretty ba big bag of those, so I'm not totally surprised to see that. Um, let me just check. And then back here, I see some white AB. A little bit of the light blue AB here. Um, a little bit of the light blue AB in here and a little bit of the white AB back here. So I love, I love that special drill placement. That is really pretty. I think this is gonna look so good. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to tell you guys, oh wait, really quick, um, this that she's kind of holding, is this something she's holding in front of her? Let me see. Yeah, okay, um, it almost looks like a little cloud. I'm not sure what this is, but there is an outline of white ABs around this. Okay. Anyway, um, this beautiful piece, I actually am planning to go ahead and kit up and work on. I had my Patreon help me decide what dragon kit I wanted to work on for the month of March, and this was one that got the most votes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this kitted up, and I'm excited to work on it, and I'm going to be able to show you guys how it turns out, how all those special drills actually look once it's completed. Um, so thanks to my Patreon for helping me with that. I am planning to, throughout the month, the, not the month, the year of 2024, work on and hopefully complete one dragon kit each 
each month, just in honor of the year of the dragon. And I, I love this one in particular. I think this one is so fitting and I'm actually secretly very glad that this is the one that uh, got voted on the most for me to work on. So like I said, I am kind of anticipating the possibility of these diamonds having a lot of static in them because that is something that I've noticed with a lot of diamond dots kits. So I'm gonna have my dryer sheets at the ready. I also have like a little bit of static guard that I've tried spraying on like a Q-tip and then swirling around uh, in the bags before. I'm I'm prepared. So um, I will of course keep you guys posted. Maybe I'll work on this in an upcoming um, whip and chat if you're curious to see this one kind of being worked on live. And I will plan to do a post review with you as well once it's complete so we can talk through how, how it came together and what my thoughts are and what just the overall experience was of working on this kit. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content, including when I do a review on this kit, or if you're interested to see maybe the other dragon kits I'm working on this year. I'd love to have you here. I love the little community that we've built, and uh, I do lots of diamond painting videos. So if that's your jam, I, I think this, this could be a fun place for you. So um, thank you guys again for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are. Have you worked on a diamond dots kit before? Do you like working on partials like this one? Or do you just prefer to work on full diamond paintings? I want to hear all of it, all of it below. What are your first impressions of this too? Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you have a day that is as fantastic as you are and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.